I can't believe we finally got this all to work. <laughs> yes, we are. We're all together here. You with all the girls. Yeah. Yay. Well, and it's honestly my pleasure to connect us all together because we're all kind of makers. So yes, first, yep. I'm going to yep. let um, my leaders introduce themselves. Okay. Yeah. Hi. So I'm Oshin. And I just think overall my favorite part about being part of this is reaching out to new students and creating new partnerships with outside of our like local community. Very good. Yeah. Hi everybody. Um, my name is Shrabni. Um, I got introduced to this club through Delaney, and um, through this uh, I've been able to um, got so many opportunities to like teach kids outside from our local area of Washington. And through that, all these opportunities have been really um, rememberable. So I'm looking forward for new experiences. Nice, yeah. Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm really excited to see um, new high schools, new members get excited about this. Hi, I'm Irene, and my favorite part about this is being able to give back to the community and being able to grow as a person and be able to also grow together with people that I care about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Adelini. Uh, my favorite thing uh, about the club has been uh, growing as a leader, a teacher, uh, and presenter. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Sunby and I'm partnered with an organization called Foundry 10 and they provided us with a grant to create micro bit kits and send them down to an elementary school in Fresno, California. That's and cool. We were able to teach the kits for about two months and it was really rewarding and fun and uh, we can't wait to have more experiences like this in the future. I can imagine, yeah. Well, I'm Paulina Maas, I'm an ICT teacher in the Netherlands. I teach uh, visual impaired children. I'm originally from ICT and I gave up my ICT job and I thought I want to have more female colleagues. I have to start in education. <laughs> and then I found out there were hardly any books for coding. So I started writing them. So and now um, hopefully my next book will come out about the micro bit because I was instantly in love with the micro bit, really. Because it is coding and it is making, and I really love that combination. So I'm excited to hear what have you done with the, your lessons with the children. This is this started as a maker group. So the connection that we have with you is super awesome because you've been doing so many amazing things with yeah. Maker, and yeah. it's kind of helped these um, leaders to kind of take Maker from let's do this project into wait a minute let's start training other people on how to use this content so it's been super cool but i'm really excited to hear what you're going to tell us about what you're doing with maker ed yeah well the reason i really were in instant in love with the micro bit because it is always making it's not just coding but it is making too so I think one of the first things of course putting the led lights on the on the micro bit and then i started testing with the, with the LED light. So I have here one of my first projects is a LED flower with a LED light going on. And then I love to hack things. So let me get here. So for instance, I very often buy like Christmas lights, you know, and I attach them to the micro bits or here I have, I have lots of material here. So for instance, I have like this table with the micro bit attached to it. So if I shake the micro bit, the light will go on and off. So if I go to a, yeah, you have this $1 shops and in Europe, we have this Europe show, your one euro shops. I go, always go in there and come back with things. I, I like to hack with the micro bit because I think that is fun. Yeah. So in our events, our, our team has been uh, uh, doing different maker projects. Um, some include uh, like the soil moisture project, um, the light sensor project, um, and even uh, in one of our events, we uh, had students purchase a microbit robot, um, okay. which was a very fun experience. Uh, they got to learn how motors worked, and they learned how uh, RGB LEDs work as well. Um, uh, I guess uh, as a question, um, 
uh, what potential project ideas do you have that we could incorporate in our outreach events? Well, I think you have to start really slow, you know, first a light and that light, just very simple, and then continue making a flower like this. And I always like to hack things. So for instance, uh, we have in Holland this uh, Euro, one Euro shop. So I think you have the $1 shops. Then I buy Christmas lights and I hack it. I cut it apart and I will hack it and put it in the project. Or here is this shape. I have this shape of light. You see, I just open it and I hack it and I put a micro bit on, on it. So I always like to do that. And for instance, I have like a Barbie here. I have a Barbie. I have all kinds of projects here lying around. So I hope it's working. So I have the Barbie. <laughs> and the LED lights go on. And you just have to open the back of it. And you know what's funny? It, it's so fun to say, okay grab the barbie of your sister and going to hack it tonight so and then you continue making projects with the left light for instance i made like this infinity cubic you know this really cool infinity cubic with led strips which is really fun to make and it looks really cool and of course it was a lot of work but also very fun to make so start really small just light up one light and then continue making it and making it bigger and bigger and i always use like a design canvas so they have to start in projects what are you want, what do you want to make and then continue making it so and for instance i walk on these shoes on my micro bit shoes when there is a conference i i walk on these micro bit shoes and I put LED lights on all of my clues, always, you know. I just la love that, yeah. And then I always find it the, the servo motor fun to make things with the servo motor, but also I think it is a kind of difficult because it's only one servo motor which really can be touched to the micro bit. So have you worked with the servo motor already with the, in your classes? Can you tell me? <laughs> Uh, yes, in most recent events, uh, we provided students with servos, alligator uh, clips, and uh, just a bunch of other materials. And okay. we did a, a day uh, just designated to servos, and we taught we taught them how to wire uh, servos and attach servos. Um, yeah, so that's just okay. one. And what do you use for power for the microbus? Um, well, they plugged it into their la uh, to their laptops. Um, yes. They also had a battery pack that we provided as well. So if they yeah. wanted, they yeah. could uh, separately uh, use it away from their laptop. Yeah, yeah. Me too. A very but important I think kind of thing is more. That is really easy. Or this is a power bank. Uh, very often, especially for the server motors, I use a power bank. Yeah. And with the server motors, it's always fun to make. For instance, I have like this project here. Yeah. Can you see? So I have like, let's see if it's working. Yes. So this is really fun. It's a lot of making, and the code is really simple, but it is fun to make. And then the next step is, for instance, making like this monster over here. See if it is working. Of course, not working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here is the new micro bit is in here, which has a sound sensor. So if I make a lot of sound, it goes open and I just see putting funny things on the top of it, of course. And this is my last project. Oh, it is, it is for an Arduino, yeah, made, but I just hacked it to make it with the micro bit, for instance. Do you see it? Yeah. So on top of it, on top of it, here are four servo motors and two micro bits with a servo motors board where you can attach like two servo motors really easy. 
and I have a remote control as a micro bit here. So this is a kind of project, you know, when you start really simple like here with the silver motor, then you continue making things. And this is one of the last projects I made with the silver motor. So are you using the Bluetooth then for the micro bit that's operating the, the puppet? Uh, no, that is just a normal radio signal. That's radio like, signal. So not you can use the Bluetooth, so you can use your, your phone to code the micro bit, or you can say make a selfie, you know, then you connect with Bluetooth. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Um, so you use you said that you use like Arduino um on the on your puppet project. Uh, what uh, what board did you use, and like how did it connect? Uh, I guess. Everything yeah, I, first made it, I first made it with Arduino and then I was getting kind of frustrated that I thought it is very diff. I, I thought it was kind of difficult and then I thought I can make it much easier with the micro bit and then it works and then I understand it. So I think if you make something and you really don't know how it's working, then you don't learn something about it. So then I just changed it. Yeah. And what I like is to make those kind of projects. The kids like to make it. Do you know that? It's like an electronic game that you have attached it and then on the back lots of cables and then have a good or a fault. So, um, yeah, and I like to, of course, make things with special lights, which you can embroidery. You can put it on clothes, yeah, on other things. Yeah. Then you use a wire, which is conductive conductive wires on here yeah so and what are your plans to do after the, the kids will you go live teaching too or is it only online that you teach well, right now it's only online because of covid but um hopefully once we're back in school in person we can start doing some more in-person events but right now they've transferred to entirely virtual um teaching and learning yeah if you find out the the make code environment where you can do stream your lesson or if you find out the microbit classroom which you can give a code to the children and then they can make it because i heard you made special projects in the make code that you gave like a starting code can somebody tell me about what you are doing <laughs> So a lot of our lessons are done in person, like um, in real time, instead of us being recorded video. So that way we can address any questions that the kids might have, or just it creates like a better like interaction between us and then who we're teaching. But then I think one of the like really nice things about Microbit is how easy it is to program and just to code it. So even though it's like hard because it's like virtual and it's sometimes harder to teach things, the fact that the interface and just the overall coding process is so simple makes it really nice to teach each other and you don't see that if they are really get it you know if because you don't see them or it's difficult for you to see what they are really doing yeah or do they share their screen if they don't understand yeah well, sometimes we ask them to memorize on them even if they don't do that it's pretty easy to like talk to them well, we worked with the California kids and they're pretty talkative. So we were able to really communicate with them and see if they were doing well or if they didn't understand something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess usually it is hard in the virtual environment to really understand what the kids are doing and if they're understanding the work we're teaching. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Yeah. And how is the teacher is picking everything up? Do they understand what they are doing? Can they help the kids? Oh, Mrs. Dunbar is amazing. So she's already doing things with them as well. I think it really helped too, because these were kids that kind of understood a lot about computer science already. So when we were able to come in and show them things, um, these leaders were showing them more of kind of the basics of arrays. They were teaching fifth graders arrays with the micro bit. They were showing how to do loops. They began the very first days with talking about some of those basics of programming. So it became yeah. more of a, um, workshops about programming and then the micro bit is just that piece right that we all have right shravani yeah. do you have yours here where's our micro bits we should pass around to you guys do you have who doesn't have one here somebody need one katie do you need one 
but it did. Oh, sorry, Irene. Here you go. Maybe we could pass it over. Can you hand it over to her, Shravani, and pass it to Irene? <laughs> but no, I think the part that we really loved was how accessible. Oh, and you guys look at the sound volume picking up mine. Do you guys see that on the micro bit? It's picking uh -huh. up me talking. <laughs> But um, one of the things I think that we really appreciated was the fact that this little tool can do so much from maker yeah. to just pro doing talking about programming interfaces. Yeah. And I really think it is fun that you're really going to make things because if you if you explain the basic of it, because they know how to let a LED light, because then you know how you can let a LED light. So now what are you going to make with it? Because now you know how you can make music and you can let a light. So what is your project now going to be? Think and then they have to take it small steps, but I think that is the most fun. Yeah. Um, so I guess we can quickly make a small circuit. So uh, if you have LED, uh, take that. And you want to put uh, the long wire uh, on three volts right here. And you want to put the short wire on ground. So let me do that. Hey. Your LED up will light up. Um, it's just a small little circuit uh, that you can create. Um, the power comes from three volts, and then the circuit ends uh, in ground. Thank you. So you can test your LED light with that, if it's working. Yes. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and joining us today. Um, we're always looking forward to making new relationships and helping out all across um, the country now. And we hope that you guys reach out to us so we can um, educate more. You have some amazing girls. It's so much fun to see what they are doing and they are having fun and doing these coding clubs and online, which is, of course, much more difficult than doing it in real life. So very good job. Nice. Yeah. I won't ever take credit for them. They are they are a uh, amazing people on their own. I just get a chance to work alongside of them and kind of coach them in these activities. But like they said, we are always looking for more people. So it'd be great if we could even make this E2 take wings and do even more things yeah. that we haven't done yet. That would be great. I yeah. have some so that will be fun yeah so i guess we have one more thing it's the actual hands-on piece you can't go away from me too without some hands-on so we've got three yes. ideas for activities we were thinking yes. one activity might be what pauline shows you in the video like actually doing make code in the browser having some projects you could share with everybody at the end that would be great yes. you don't need any micro bits but you could have them uh, but you can make one if you have one the other activity we thought was some people need to check out streamer. So I'm going to have a, uh, because Pauline showed me, I'm going to make a video that shows you how to use streamer. And then you're going to make your own versions of streamer. And you're not limited to using streamer for make code. You can do circuit playground express. You can do maker content with different peripherals and you can even do it with um, coding in Minecraft. So, so yes. many cool yes. tools with MakeCode. And then the third yes. event was maybe you get a chance to show us what you're doing with MakeCode yes. in your micro bits. Yes. So make your yes. own, yes. just post up your own video so that way we can share and really make this a full global opportunity. Thank yes. you all. So we made, yeah, we made this, this Flipgrid and everybody can post on this Flipgrid. So we will leave the link here. So we are excited to look at all your nice videos doing makeup things with the microbits and other things so <laughs> melissa it was such a pleasure to talk to each other i'm already was, sad oh yeah, yeah see each other live <laughs> if Definitely. there is a we will do that yes so, thank you all take care bye bye bye, bye. <laughs>